Hi, um, I went to the Body Shop event this morning, which I was so grateful to be invited to. It was such a surprise, and a nice surprise. I have got a denim on my torso, that's for Boo. Um, but I'm wearing a play suit, and I'll actually put pictures of what I was wearing today. Um, I'll put them in. I got to the event, I got a taxi from Waterloo because I don't like the tubes particularly and I always get lost in London, I've got no sense of direction. So it took me right up to the front of the hotel and one of the concierge, I think, or the doormen, they opened the taxi door for me and I got out and was like, oh, this is very posh. Um, and I didn't want to go in because I didn't know anyone. And then I saw um, Ms. Worthy and um, I assumed it was her. But I was like, I can't go up and just start talking to a stranger because then I'll look mental. But luckily she recognised me and came over and we went in together where um, we were greeted with a really gorgeous very very nice hotel room with like a terrace bit outside and um displays all around for the new products and um big trays full of nibbles really pretty gorgeous nibbles chocolatey things sandwiches and a bunch of cupcakes with frosting really nice and um i was so nervous to meet everyone but everyone was so nice um i just want to say hi to everyone that i met and it was so nice to meet you and everyone was so friendly and it was just brilliant and every single pr person there was a joy to talk to they were really enthusiastic answered all the questions talked to all of us and it was just a, a brilliant first experience at an event for me chatting a bit we sat down and we had the first talk which was about the new hair care range which they're launching which I'm trying to do this off the top of my head there's one for oily hair one for dry hair one for coloured hair and one for normal hair they've all got different names and um essentially obviously the body shop always has tried to be environmental environmentally friendly and this is trying to be one of the first eco-friendly hair products um, so it contains no parabens and no bad stuff like that which and 100% recyclable packaging so when it goes down the drain when you wash your hair and it goes into the like into the sewer or the river or the lakes or whatever it's actually not affecting the fish which I'm not gonna lie I never thought of do you know what I mean but when they said it like that you think actually that's a really good idea to be inventing a product that is 100% recyclable good for you like good for me good for my hair and also good for the environment as well so that was the first talk we had. Um, then we had a makeup demonstration. Like, we were asking him questions, and oh, he was just so knowledgeable about makeup, which is really interesting to see. And um, he brought out the first model to put on the bronzers, and uh, she wasn't wearing any foundation. And all of us just looked at each other like, that's not fair. She had beautiful skin and um he put the bronzers on her for a natural summer look and then another gorgeous really tall like this thin literally model came out and he did a daytime look and then really quickly transferred it into a an evening look and um i'm gonna put some photos in now I actually forgot my camera, so all my photos are stolen, and you've probably seen them already, but I think it, it makes it look a bit better if I've got some photos in here, as opposed to just me, blah, blah, blah. -ing. After the makeup demonstration, we had all the products um, passed around for us to try and whoop, to swatch, and um, I've missed something out. Before the makeup... And we were actually told about the new vitamin C range of products which they've got and then they asked if anyone used vitamin C and I put my hand up like I was in school 
because I'd been using a Bliss moisturiser, a vitamin C moisturiser. So I was really interested to hear about uh, the vitamin C range. And um, I'll do a proper review of all the products and show you how they work and stuff. But I just want to talk about the event for now. Um, there's an eye duo, which has got a rollerball and a moisturiser. And there is a microdermabrasion, which also contains vitamin C. And there's also a radiance face powder, which was supposed to use for 10 days um, when your skin's kind of like dull and tired and it will give your skin a boost. And it was it was likened to having a facial, and um, but your skin should look amazing for quite a long time. And um, that's apparently, that's the big product, that's the one to get, the vitamin C uh, radiance powder. Okay. Then we had the makeup demonstration. Then we got to go off and um, frost our own cupcakes, basically. And um, that was lots of fun. And we all made, like, well, some of ours were a bit rubbish, but some of them were really good. And it was really fun and d did the icing and um, put the sprinkles on. Actually, I'm going to put pictures now of the cupcakes and us with our cupcakes. Um, we were also told a little random fact, which is kind of gross, but I'll share it with you anyway. Um, the average woman ingests four pounds of lipstick in her lifetime. So we finished um, making our cupcakes and everything. We went to go and um, basically we had a talk about the charity, the sort of campaign that the body shop are running. It's on the front of the uh, bag we got. And as you can see this is meant to be a hand. And what they've done is they've got a load of celebrities to draw around their hand and then sort of customise it and make it into like a massive board. And then us lot got a chance to draw around our own hands and add glitter and hearts and sparkles. And so there's a blogger, a beauty bloggers board of um, say no to trafficking signs. It's for a really good cause and quite horrifying, like child sex trafficking it's not it's not something that's talked about in public very often it's something people i guess want to pretend isn't happening but it is and the body shop is trying to change that so basically that's the sum up of my day it was such a fun day and um so i hugged everyone goodbye and said goodbye to all the pr people and went to leave and um was happy as larry and then as i got out and there was like a cupboard and they said to me, oh, have you got your goodie bag? And I said, oh, no, I haven't. And they gave me this with, with but essentially there's loads. And I didn't, I said thanks, put it on my back, um, got in the taxi and put it next to me, opened it and literally was shocked, completely in utterly shocked at the generosity and how much was in there. I wasn't expecting it and I was shocked when I got it. So I actually felt like a bit guilty because it just took me by complete surprise. So I had about five minutes to spare at Waterloo before I got my train and so I went to the body shop and I bought a lip butter. I wanted to buy the hand cream, which would also benefit the charity, but I was in a rush and couldn't find it. So I just picked up this. I just felt like I had to go into the shop and contribute something and buy something because I was so overwhelmed and grateful for that. Being invited to the event and how fun it was and the hospitality and the generosity. So that was my experience at the Body Shop event. I hope you enjoyed me talking about it. If you have any questions, ask them below. And thanks to everyone that I've stolen pictures from. And um, thank you very much for watching.